Today at Black History, you're going to learn about someone who was instrumental in the civil rights movement, and you probably never heard of him, A. Philip Randolph. Asada Philip Randolph was born April 15th, 1889 in Crescent City, Florida. His father was James William Randolph, and he was a preacher, and his mother, Elizabeth Robinson Randolph, and she was a skilled seamstress. Randolph moved to Harlem, New York in 1911. He then began publishing a magazine called The Hotel Messenger to advance his socialist views and rally fellow African Americans around their cause. In the summer of 1915, Randolph received an invitation from a group of porters from the Pullman Palace Company in Chicago. Chicago. The company hired mostly African-American men to serve white passengers aboard their luxury rare world sleeping cars. Pullman porters were generally paid lower than their white counterparts and were subjected to awful working hours and conditions. Following the meeting, Randolph agreed to help organize the Brotherhood of Sleeping Car Porters, the nation's first predominantly black labor union. In 1934, Congress amended the 1926 Railway Act to cover sleeping car porter workers, and this made it illegal for porters men to fire workers from the Brotherhood of Sleeping Car Porters, paving the way for Randolph and the Brotherhood to win a collective bargaining agreement and sign a contract with Pullman, recognize them as a union, and reduce porters' monthly working hours and raise their wages. Randolph was also an outspoken advocate for racial equality. In 1941, he announced a large protest at Washington, D.C., aimed at convincing President Franklin Delano Roosevelt to end racial discrimination in the nation's defense industries. Roosevelt responded with Executive Order 8802, which opened the war industries during World War II to black workers and created the Fair Employment Practices Commission. In 1948, Randolph helped persuade then-President Harry Truman to desegregate the United States Armed Forces with the passage of the Universal Military Service and Training Act. Randolph would also help organize several other protests on the nation's capital throughout the 50s, including pilgrimage of prayer in 1957 and two youth marches to protest the slow pace of school desegregation. In 1963, Randolph working with fellow activist Bayard Rustin to spearhead a massive march on Washington. That event led to nearly 250,000 people gathering to hear civil rights leaders speak, including Martin Luther King, at the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Also in 1963, Lyndon B. Johnson awarded Randolph the Presidential Medal of Freedom for his career in activism. Randolph retired as president of the Brotherhood of Sleeping Car Porters in 1968, and he spent the later years of his life living in New York City until he died in 1979. He was 90 years old.